everybody, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. Today is monthly favourites time and I'm going to show you the 10 items that I've loved for the past month. I've been watching everyone else's. I think I'm a bit late doing this because everyone seems to do them at the end of November and it's now the beginning of December so I need to catch up and be a little bit quicker with them. But they are genuinely 10 things that I've loved and 10 things that I've used nearly every day and they're a mixture of everything. Bits and yeah, just, you know me, random stuff. But they are my honest opinions. And some of them could be good gifts for people for Christmas. So let's get Okay, cracking. so the first one I have is something cheap and cheerful. It's a set and powder and it's actually from Boots and it's from their natural collection. I just wanted something really simple that I could throw in my bag. And if the powder, it's a pressed powder, if it fell apart, you wouldn't care. Because some of the, the high-end ones, you kind of baby a little bit when they're in your bag. And if they crack and just disintegrate, it's like... Heartbreaking. So this is the Natural Collections and as you can see I've put a really big hole in it. It's nearly all gone and this is in warm and for the price of it it's really really cheap. I think if it's about three euro it just sets my powder really really lovely. I've been using it every day for a long time not just the past month. I kind of just set everything when I'm finished with my foundation and it just for the price of it it just gives a lovely finish and as I say I have sensitive skin and it doesn't give me any irritations. And I actually have it on today and it's just a great little piece of, of makeup for, as I say, about three euro. So that's my first one. My second one is a perfume that I recently purchased in November because I was out of from during the summer and I missed it so much. And I just love it. And it's my Tom Ford Black Orchid. Now, I bought it in the summer. I bought it in June when I was on holidays and... I just love it and it just reminds me of summer and even though it's more of an evening kind of a, a scent and more of a a peppery, I'm really terrible at describing them but I did do a quick review of it when I, I got it in my birthday haul. Um, it's much more of a winter evening scent even though I bought it in the summer but it does actually remind me of when I was away uh, and that's just, oh, if you know anyone that likes really really dark deep musky kind of perfumes, if you haven't smelled any of the Tom Ford Rage, range go in and just even smell it there's a velvet orchid as well which is a little bit milder but that one I love and that will be probably gone in no time as well and I've been using that the past couple of weeks since I got it so that's my number two number three is kind of a bit of a cheat because I got it in Louis Vuitton and I've been wearing it every day and I just love it it's the keeper bracelet and it's one of those ones that I've just popped on every day and worn with everything even with silver watches or silver jewelry you could because there's not a lot of gold in it and another little present that'd be great for people and it's expensive for the size of it. I think it's 155 euro it's about 120 pounds sterling I think but if you're thinking of getting luxury for somebody for Christmas and you want something that's not too crazy expensive but just still screams luxury that's a little one to get them and I love it that's a size 19 I've done a quick review on this and an unboxing on my channel as well uh, so that's my number three love it number four is a nail varnish that I actually have on today and sometimes I find with Chanel nail varnishes they're a hit and miss. Um, I've had them before and the longevity in them is not great and I don't like the brushes so that's not always a good start but I've seen the colour of this one and if you follow me on Instagram you'll see it. I'm going to butcher the name of this. Tribalante I want to say but it's probably completely wrong but it has different colours and if you move it a certain way it's gold you move it another way it's like a mauve there's even hints of copper I can even see kind of greens oh it's just lovely I actually have it on today but you probably won't be able to see it because as usual my light isn't great but certain ways you move your actual fingernails you can see different colours and I love it and for staying power I don't know whether they've improved the formula of their previous nail varnishes but this got me I work in retail so my hands are constantly into things and on the go and I got three days out of this before it started to chip on the fingers you kind of use first. Um, you use most, I should say. So these ones went first. And then I would have got much longer out of them. So if you were putting it on, I think three days is... It's not great, I suppose, for the money for it. It's like €25, Euro, I think. But the colour of it is just gorgeous. Really, really love it. So that's my number four. My number five is a number seven product. What kind of video would I have if I didn't have a number seven product in it? Because I just love them. And I've tried a lot of primers. Uh, the Benefit. Smashbox one is really, really good. But I said I'd give this one a go. And it's the Airbrush Away primer. 
and as usual the light is terrible and there you go and it's just brilliant no exaggeration goes on really nice and the other thing is I have quite greasy skin t-zone kind of normal cheeks maybe a bit dry so when I pop this on I don't always use a moisturizer depending on the foundation I'm using but this is just so lovely gives a lovely satin feel doesn't leave it too much I find the benefit one and the Smashbox one the idea is to obviously make your skin feel quite dry for your makeup to adhere to and then it kind of would fill in any pores I'd have quite large pores on my nose and sometimes they can dry your skin out I feel this one doesn't I think this one is really really good oh my god the light is terrible so that's the airbrush away primer number seven so if you're thinking of a cheap and cheerful primer and not too expensive like the Smashbox or the Benefit this one is really good and it's not dear I think it's about 14 euro so that's my number five my number six is a lip liner how have I not had this lip liner in my life before it's MAC and it's spice and it's oh my god to die for it's just the softest easy to put on lip liner I've used in a long time and I've had MAC lip liners before the twist one where you don't actually pair them I'm terrible at describing them and I, they're normally the ones I get but after the Kylie Jenner hype and she uses the spice and a couple of other ones I said I'd give the spice a go because that seems to be the most popular and this is the one that seems to be constantly sold out whenever you go in and try to get it but they actually had it and that's you can't really see it so I'll swatch it it's a very much the 90s shade as they say it's a deep browny kind of red undertones and I actually have it on today and scary close up but I literally just have the lip liner on so for work and for all day where it actually lasts nearly the whole day now in fairness it doesn't I tend to keep my lips really really moisturized at night I always pack on loads of lip balm so I don't really suffer too much with dry lips unless the air con and work is on for too long and you have your heating and blah 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 so if you have dry lips this probably wouldn't work if you haven't got them really really well moisturized but I would always pop on a little a small bit of a dark lip color over it as well but for last and power it's just brilliant and I will certainly be buying two three four more of these so that's MAC it's lovely it's MAC in spice be buying more so number seven is a hand cream and it's very sad because it's another one that's nearly all gone there's a little bit left and this is the Crabtree and Evelyn and it's the Avocado olive and basil and it's just divine I'd like to see if you could get this actually in I'm just going to use it if you could get it in a body lotion because it's just gorgeous the smell of it is just not quite fruity. You can actually get a strong scent of the avocado in it. But it's just the Crabtree and Evelyn pieces and their soaps and their hand creams. I love the, uh, is it the Nantucket Briar as well? Just lovely. So this was actually gifted to me a while back and I've, I'm a, in love with any kind of hand creams. I always carry one around my bag and this one I've been carrying for a couple of months now. And I shall certainly, when this one is gone, I will be buying this one again. Ah, have it upside down, isn't that just great? So that's the Avocado Crabtree and Evelyn Hand Therapy. Great. Love it. It's not cosmetics and it's not makeup and brushes and all my stuff that I love, but it's another thing that I love, and that's anything to do with girly bits and putting things on my dressing table, which is here. And this is a little organizer for your vanity unit. If you're like me, you love all little boxes and keeping things. I change them on a regular basis when I get bored of them. Isn't that terrible? And this is one I bought last month and I just love it. And if you're thinking of gifts for anyone to pop on their dressing table, oh, look, it's just so pretty. I just love it. And at the top of it, there's like six, no, four compartments for, you could put brushes in the middle and your toners and your cleansers and stuff but even sitting on top of your dressing table isn't it just divine and you have two little drawers and a little detail on the front and it's mirrored the whole way around oh I just love it isn't it so cute two of them be lovely and that's actually the new collection believe it or not in Dunn stores and it's 25 euro and I needed it like a hole in the head but when I seen it I was like I just have to have it it's just gorgeous isn't it and I also got this is kind of cheap but we'll include it in the same number. The tissue box to match. Look, imagine. Oh, just gorgeous. So they'd be two nice little gifts for somebody if they're 
into beauty items and anything girly and if you have vanity unit or dressing table or anything like that. It's just so pretty. Adele's new CD, uh, 25 and it's just amazing. Can't really show it can you? So all I can do is show you on my iTunes. It's just, I've loved all her CDs. 21, 19, I'd say 21 was probably my favourite. But this is just amazing. It's one of those ones that you don't skip any tracks on, which you don't with Adele in any way. But she is just brilliant. And my favourite track on it so far is When We Were Young. So if you haven't got it, you need to go out and get it because it's just brilliant. Have it on repeat, non-stop, in the car, in the house, everywhere That's I go. my number 10, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And that was all my monthly favourites slash Christmas gift guides. It's kind of what they turn into, isn't it? And Christmas is not far away now. So I have some more videos coming up in the next couple of days. And again, thanks for all your support um, on here and on Instagram. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.